very worrying for India. One positive case of the coronavirus has been detected. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. ध्यान से सुनिए पूरे देश में आज रात 12 बजे से संपूर्ण देश में संपूर्ण लॉकडाउन होने जा रहा है. Even before the state has declared lockdown, Nice has declared lockdown. The global coronavirus pandemic had stopped the world. The way we live was completely changed. The school, colleges, universities were closed, shops were closed, sports were closed, and the economy remained slow down. The people had ordered to stay inside their homes. An advice to walk from home. The coronavirus which causes COVID-19 was first reported in the city of Wuhan, China in December 2019. Has traveled around the world infecting and killing people and eventually landed in India. Scientists, doctors and public health officials at every level of government have been working overtime to slow down the pandemic and keep people safe. India has around 138 crore people and in most of the state, this is how coronavirus case is look like, higher, higher and higher. But till now, there is no proven cure for coronavirus. The only possible way of early testing is helping the society to control the spread of COVID-19. It looks impossible to control the spread due to the one critical piece of containment puzzle that is the lack of testing laboratory. But there is a testing laboratory in Assam, not in the region of India, that was set up in only 30 days to strengthen the testing capacity of the state and for the nation. This is the story of CSIR Northeast Institute of Science and Technology. CSIR NIST is an organization which has a strong background in biotechnology, chemistry. And when we are looking at communicable and non-communicable diseases, in the recent years, there is a stronger stress on studying the non-communicable diseases and lifestyle diseases. And all of a sudden, this year, the communicable disease, an infectious disease, like SARS-CoV-2, the novel coronavirus, played an important role. And when it has started in China, even in January, CSIR NIS was one of the first organizations to have a conference on coronavirus in the late January, on 30th January, some of our research students went to nearby village and then tried to bring in awareness among them and distributed about 150 sanitizers to all the villages. With that background, we were silently watching how this coronavirus is spreading across the world and in our country. When the spread started in the country, even before the state has declared lockdown, NIST has declared lockdown four days before, and we have been imposing very, very strict measures in the moment in the call. However, the state has imposed lockdown and then we were watching how things are going in March and April and soon we are realizing that this particular virus which was spreading in the mainland India which was about to begin its spread in the northeast our scientists to 
looking at the epidemiological data were prepared to see how this spread will be there in the northeast. So sometime in the late April, CSIR news scientists have sit down and then try to see what is that we can do if the pandemic is affecting the state. So at that particular point of time, the CSIR Director General Dr. Shekhar Mande has asked all the laboratories that who will be willing to test the SARS-CoV-2 with RT-PCR based method. And CSIR NIS was an obvious choice for the central authorities at Delhi and they have designated CSIR NEST as one of the laboratories. And the ground reality is that we don't have any facility and our biosafety equipment is old and the RTPCRs have to be calibrated and more importantly we have never worked on the biomedical type of research involving tumors and viruses. But the confidence that all our scientists have led us to start constructing a building and a facility from the scratch where there is an equipment of mechanical engineering and civil engineering and we have to remove them from that particular place and due to the very very strong commitment of all the researchers, engineers and scientists and administration we are able to construct a COV a COVID testing facility within 28 days and it was opened on 31st May by the Honorable Minister Dr. Timanta Vishwasya. Personally I feel that it was a bold decision so we started with uh, literally uh, nothing on the ground, even though we have the equipment, they were not in uh, one single place, it has to be put together. So the director has decided to uh, open the laboratory at one of our buildings, which was housing the rural Technology Demonstration Center. It was not an easy decision and administratively and I would like to mention here that whatever we do in the office, whatever decision is taken, ultimately it all come down, comes down to administration for execution and proper implementation. So it has been quite a journey for me and my team of uh, in the administration trying to catch up or trying to adhere to the changing circumstances of the emergency situation. So we started with the uh, construction of the renovation of the uh, lab and uh, normally civil works has its own time uh, the normal rules and procedures have to be followed. So in these emergency times, we will have to have the laboratory uh, within a very short span of time. It has been a challenge and I'm glad to share that we have come up with uh, flying colors. We were able to establish this uh, lab uh, within the uh, uh, period of uh, 10 to 15 days the infrastructure the building and all the partitions and all the rooms and all the facilities fittings we have been able to make it ready in a period of 10 to 15 days and uh, we have been trying to figure out because this is a totally new thing which we are planning to do and administratively we were trying to figure out how to go about it. For example, even though we have the equipment, we do not, we may not have the 
required manpower because we do not have a virology lab. Further, we will have to see what are the components of the testing, for example, what are the materials required. So we did a lot of research and then finally we came to understand that it has several components. First thing is to get the uh, RT-PCR kit which we have made arrangement with the ICMR and then come the disposables, the lab, uh, small small items which are used in the lab which we call it disposables, we will have to get it from the state government. And then also the other component, the PPE kits for the staff who are going to uh, do the testing in the laboratory since it is a highly contagious virus. So the PPE kits are also very, very important. So finally we make arrangement with the NHM. National Health Mission Directorate and then finally this arrangement has been made. Personally I have looked into these matters and I have personally taken the responsibility to make these arrangements. So finally we have been able to link up with NHM to get the PPE kits regular on a regular basis. All these items are regularly required and also comes the disposal of the biomedical waste which is a very very important aspect the disease or the virus being such a contagious virus care has to be taken so in this respect i have made a license with the state government and also the district administration and then finally we have been able to arrange the disposal of this biomedical waste which will be generated from the lab with the Jorhat Municipal Board. It has been as the disease spreads and it is I think everywhere happening that we have to perform this only shows that we have to perform beyond our capacity but increasing the lab uh, capacity is not an easy task because it involves a lot of efforts and a lot of materials, items which are to be procured. Even though here we have made arrangement from the state and the central government to supply these consumables on a regular basis. We have now the plan, I think the director, CSI and his Dakizian Sastri has taken a bold decision once again to increase the uh, capacity as we have been receiving requests from the state government and also the uh, NHM to increase the testing capability to 2,000 to 3,000 per day. So again, one thing I would like to share here is that in this venture, many times we have to stretch ourselves. As I have uh, pointed out earlier, we were planning for 40 to 50 tests per day but now we are actually testing four, five to ten times more than what was planned and how this can happen in the administration we have to stretch ourselves especially our purchase department or finance department administration we have to cater to the requirement so these things cannot just happen in a day or two but it has to be a constant effort. So we have to keep constant working, keep working constantly to improve the uh, facility. And also decisions have to be taken at a very fast pace. And we will have to see that rules are not broken. So it has been a very tight drop work which we have gone through. And I'm happy to say, and then also I would like to uh, give the credit uh, to the entire CSIR and his team, especially the director with his leadership. We have been able to overcome the hurdles we came along across and then now we are on the end route to uh, expanding this uh, testing facility further.
we had a big responsibility with the being an R&D lab to take almost all requirement uh, in, uh, for our people and the, around the vicinity. So we started preparing the dis uh, infectant, sanitizer and masks. So these things, but we were not prepared and suddenly but these requirements came. So as a finance officer, our the duty was to make all the funds available for their procurements and the smooth procurement had to be made. Just after taking these steps, suddenly we came to know from our the director that we have to establish the COVID testing lab. And this was again a with a huge task that within a very short time we had to construct and start the testing lab. So I just put all our finance staff and officers for day night's duty to clear all the proposals so that all the construction related work procurement should be made in time and the testing should be started and thanks to our staff and our director also instructed us and just gave us freedom to just establish this lab and we from finance side made everything feasible so that this lab this testing lab can be a reality and yes but we are now proud that the testing has started and just we have come forward to help the society in the need of this big pandemic and just helping the society as a whole. We as an organization uh, and responsible human being are putting all our efforts on both the fronts. To fight on both the fronts, as we know, the front warriors requires arms and ammunition. Like in this case, safety, cleaning items, and equipments for that also. My department, the Stores and Purchase Division, with all its staff is engaged in this noble cause to providing these things continuously without any hurdle for uh, fighting the, in this situation in spite of uh, being locked down and restrictions on movement of the goods as well persons. As we know, uh, there are multiple lockdowns in different phases, in different parts of country. Even though we, were, we have been able to get the things which are required for this purpose. We have to search the things from the shops, where are they available, what is available and get the things for properly in time continuously uh, so this is a more than tough job we are doing at the time i personally thank to my staff my division for their help and their continuous support in this situation at the disguise of Director CSNS Zurhan, I was assigned to coordinate to create the COVID testing facility at CSNS Zurhan. So initially we were having a lot of uh, this discussion regarding how to go ahead because at that time this COVID, uh, this entire country was under lockdown. So ultimately we have selected a suitable place. And during the lockdown period, we are supposed to arrange all the things. 
and we are supposed to mobilize all the equipment as well as other facilities to the testing facility and besides this the artificial we are supposed to create the laboratory in such a way so that everything whatever required as per ICMR guidelines we are supposed to create. So in this regard the overwhelming support received from different division including administration to all the persons it was commendable so in this regard the entire support received from bsdd specifically from biotechnology group was commendable so within short span of time we were able to create all the we were able to mobilize all the uh, facilities all the equipment to this respective laboratory where we are creating the, this covid testing facility and ultimately it was successful and now this testing is going on. It started with zero budget and we do not have equipment but in our lab somebody has BSL2 cabinet, somebody has RT-PCR, somebody has computer and we donated everything to that center identified place and we started COVID testing lab and from my side I have donated to that center, to BSL2 safety cabinet, and one RT-PCR, which is the model as per guideline of ICMR. I have also one set of computer and printer for data entry and data output. So that way, everybody is giving their input for this development of this COVID center, COVID testing center. And, and this center has doing fine, Lot of samples are doing every day, large number of samples are coming, they are doing and uh, testing and they are doing their duty for the society of this uh, region and of this town, of this city. Under the leadership of our director, Dr. Ruchi Norahari Sasti, now testing is going on very smoothly. Whole institute and the, uh, all the, all the biotechnology and BSTD student and scientists are involved in this testing facility in different related different work related to this testing. We are happy with testing work. Hope we our work will help the society as well as this work. As the pandemic emerged and engrossed the entire world and it entered into India, it has become a imminent challenge that we all testing laboratories and scientists which are who are capable of testing and providing this testing service to the common people. So we came up and take up the challenge to establish this testing facility and uh, get involved in this uh, COVID-19 testing. So our testing facility was started in 8 June and uh, it is an RT-PCR based uh, COVID-19 testing facility as uh, in most of the cases. So as a COVID-19 facility, uh, as we all know, it involves a huge team, multiple expertise, different components which ultimately supports and uh, help us to get the results of a, a patient in diagnosis of COVID-19. So this was a challenge uh, for me as a, a personal level also because I have never been involved in this kind of uh, human uh, viral diagnostic testing that too of that immense uh, contagiousness transmission capability this called SARS-CoV-2 so Although this uh, artificial technique which we routinely use for our various research purposes is a uh, quite well established technique and typically it doesn't require much of effort. But since COVID-19, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 is a highly contagious, easily transmissible pathogen. So if the typical artificial technique itself 
needs to be incorporated with a strong biosafety measures. So overall, that makes the entire testing process a challenge because uh, if we can do some uh, uh, typical diagnosis of routine nature using RT-PCR technique, that will not probably involve that much of time. But here we have to take utmost care using uh, special biosafety measures uh, handling the samples in a biosafety level uh, uh, to containment cabinet wearing uh, personal protective uh, equipment and take all all sorts of biosafety measures the entire process is a quite challenging well uh, challenging one and I'm, I'm really happy that uh, uh, good numbers of uh, people along with uh, me are working dedicatedly uh, to take up this challenge and they are doing it so well. It was a wonderful effort and team effort has been put by all our colleagues and then uh, realization of this lab is really it's a great learning experience which we have come across. We have a wonderful team. This uh, testing facility right now, the technical details I'm not going to just say it. Uh, now we are doing the RT-PCR based testing analysis. But to realize this lab, it was a wonderful effort put by all our team members because we are basically multidisciplinary lab. So many departments have contributed the instruments and we have collected all the instruments from all over the institute and uh, this facility now it's running. We are working at CSNS COVID-19 testing laboratory. It is an opportunity for all of us to work at COVID-19 testing laboratory to provide the testing and to provide the service to the nation and the society. We are covering five to six districts of Upper Assam. We are receiving 500 to 800 samples every day. And our whole team is working day and night to provide the services, to provide the testing reports within 24 hours after receiving the sample. With this team of CSR NISP, we are ready to face such type of challenges to serve the nation and the society. The challenging task for us was the site location to come up with this facility. But in no time with a team of scientists, we were able to locate this site where the current facility is located which is isolated from rest of the laboratory. The next challenge was to sit with the engineers and try to design the plan, floor plan of this uh, laboratory, how the flow will be there, uh, there in the facility, the unidirectional flow where a person can enter from one route and can exit from the other side. This was a challenge for us, but we were able to do this uh, with the engineers of our institute. And while designing this facility, we took care of all the biosafety norms, separate donning and doffing area, uh, area for disposal, area for washing hands. Uh, these were the prime things which we were thinking of while designing. Also, uh, we have this restricted access entry for workers uh, while entering, while uh, bringing in the samples inside the facility. And we have seven teams working under the nodal officer of our facility. These teams are sample receiving team, ellicotting and extraction team, then uh, master mix preparation team, RT-PCR uh, running team, documentation team, biosafety team, and procurement team. Since it was declared pandemic by the World Health Organization on 11th of March 2020, COVID-19 has affected millions of people in over 200 countries around the globe. India is facing one of its greatest challenges in a history. And to beat this pandemic, we has to, must come together. So to serve the nation, serve the humanity, in true sense, during this period of crisis, CSIR, Northeast Institute of Science and Technology, Jorhat, 
has established a COVID-19 testing center in its premises, which was inaugurated by the Honorable Health Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma, on 30th of May 2020. And on 8th of June 2020, we received the first batch of samples and we'll be carrying on with this testing and our only concern is that when this COVID ends, we as an institute should be able to work with certain level of satisfaction that we fought this crisis well. And with honest effort, truth and will with which the team CSI NIST is working, we will win. Uh, CSI NIST COVID-19 testing laboratory is a significant achievement, uh, not only the CSI NIST but also the entire CSR and in this moment uh, I like to uh, extend my uh, deep gratitude for this uh, decision to our Honorable uh, DZ Dr. Sekhar Mandesar and our Honorable Director Dr. Zeen Orhori Sastri for taking this very important decision because the testing facility in the region like Assam and Northeast is very limited and uh, in many uh, laboratory or many institutes or many hospital this RT-PCR testing facility is uh, may not be possible due to lack of equipment or infrastructure but CSR NIST can do it as uh, we have a lot of equipments uh, regarding this uh, testing facility so when it was initially we established uh, equipments from uh, other engaged in other work also oriented toward this uh, testing laboratory and now it is fully function and it is extending a great service to the uh, state government as well as the people of Assam and I'm sure that in future when this uh, facility will be extended it will be one of the very um, uh, important facility to serve the people for entire Northeast India in terms of COVID-19 testing. We have seven teams under the umbrella of COVID testing lab and we are the part of bio safety and bio waste management team. Bio waste and bio safety is an integral part of uh, COVID testing lab and we make sure all the waste generated from the testing lab we make sure the proper disposal of it. When country is really under the pressure of COVID-19, we are very happy to be part of it. bio waste management is very important aspect for COVID-19 testing lab. Varieties of bio-waste are generated from sample aliquoting to RT-PCR tests containing test tube, plates, sample vials, and gloves and PPE kits. So what we do, we collect all the waste generated from this lab and then we autoclave the waste generated in different sizes biohazard bags and then it is transferred to a third party for incineration of the waste. Uh, there are seven members in the documentation team and uh, some PhD students are also helping uh, in our documentation work. The main part of the documentation is to prepare the database and uh, it's a for each and every sample we received and also also to generate uh, the results actually of each and every sample and apart from this we are also preparing that uh, IC, uh, the test reports of each and every sample and to upload all those results in the ICMR uh, website actually. So the main basic challenges we face uh, actually uh, <coughs> the timely manner uh, we have to update this in a timely manner and it should be error free because all of we know that Assam government has already uh, launched one website uh, in which one uh, person can uh, directly log into that uh, website and he can find that his uh, sample result so an uh, accurate and uh, fast data and reports not only satisfy the patient actually but also it helps that uh, health sector to uh, prepare their strategy uh, for future actually and now uh, we are very happy and uh, proud uh, to uh, serve this society at this uh, pandemic situation and I hope that in future also we will be um, extending our helping hand as and when required. The Engineering Science and Technology Division of CSI and East is contributing in many ways regarding different works related to in this pandemic situation. 
during first lockdown uh, on request of Jurhat district administration we designed and fabricated swap collecting cabin with foot operated twin flap double chamber waste material bin and supplied this prototype to them for the use of and for fabrication. Also, doctors of Jurhat Medical College Hospital and Jurhat District Authority requested us to give solution for making face scenes in easy way within short span of time as there was lack of supply during first lockdown period. And we provided them samples of making face seal with available material quickly. Still, we are making face seals using same process for our use as uh, this is very much useful also in our COVID testing lab of CSR list. Within very short duration, CSR NIST has to establish COVID-19 testing lab. Engineering Science and Technology Division, along with Civil Engineering and Maintenance Section, Electrical Section, established this COVID-19 testing lab, having different rooms with lighting, ACs, and also EV light dispense infection after use. And these all are done with consultation and the requirements of concerned scientists and doctors. We are also involved in design and fabrication of items like food operated hand sanitizer, soap dispenser, and water tap opener for hand wash, food sanitizing pad, UV light chamber, exhaust air heating chamber for COVID-19 testing lab. Our scientists from Engineering Science and Technology Division are also involved in taking care of biomedical safety measures for the COVID testing lab. The COVID-19 testing lab, whatever we have established in CSI list, it is as per the guideline of ICM. This has all the facilities as per ICM guideline. As you all know that the present uh, coronavirus pandemic is affecting both uh, socially and economically in the entire country. And uh, as a part of uh, this uh, uh, situation, our lab has come up uh, uh, with a resolution that we will have a COVID-19 testing facility we are creating here. And uh, with this facility, we are actually uh, serving our country. And uh, as a part of this activity, our entire uh, general engineering group of engineering sciences and technology division is uh, effectively involving in this uh, activity and try to uh, give their best. So in this uh, platform, I am taking the privilege to thanks uh, to all my fellow colleagues who from our workshop and uh, refrigeration and air conditioning sections who have dedicatedly working in this situation and working day and night for the um, uh, in this pandemic situation and helps uh, from the service point of view to um, have this lab uh, established within a tremendously record period of some 7 to 10 days and uh, everything is done in a one footing manner all the people are working in day and night and uh, ultimately we are successful in establishing the laboratory and now it is functioning and it is uh, we can happily say that 500 800 thousand samples per day we are now in a position to uh, handle all these things and this is because of the this uh, day and night dedicated effort of all these staffs and apart from this uh, uh, this type of infrastructure services we are also involved in the different types of uh, the design of some of the products which are very much relevant to uh, this coronavirus uh, situation to come up
up with this uh, situation because as you all know that because of the lockdown in different parts of the country the, the total supply chain is uh, exhausted the total supply chain is affected so it is very much important that we should have our own design we should have to come up with the different types of design and we have to make the products uh, here indigenously with the minimum facilities which is available here in the available in the workshop so that the situation can be handled and the things can be run smoothly so this is a just an effort uh, we have uh, given this and uh, we are thankful to all the support given by all the seniors and all the competent authorities to uh, do uh, help us in doing this work and uh, we take this opportunity to also salute really those uh, warriors which are actually doing all this testing works for they are in shifting ways 24 into 7 they are working and this is uh, really a salute to all these uh, warriors who are actually working in the front field to uh, mitigate this uh, disease and to have a uh, so that the a good health situation and the good situation is come back to our country the assignment given to us by the director and the group of scientists for creating a facility for COVID-19 testing. This, for the same, the time was given as 15 days. We have done it, we run into action and have done it immediately. And finally, we, were try, we tried to accomplish it in a 15 days time. But with our extra efforts, the same was completed in 8 days. Because of the lockdown, the materials availability in the Johar town was very limited. As soon as we gave the work order to the contractor, he was asked by us and advised by us to gather or to get all the supplies of the materials and to stockpile it in the site. The same was done. The laborers were asked to stay in the campus. We have arranged them for the guest house accommodation and they worked for 24 by 7. Of course, it was a very tough assignment for us since the work has to be completed in 10 to 12 days by following all the procedures. So initially, if you get the proper plan, it takes maximum one or two hours for estimation. So after thorough discussion with the uh, team scientists, so we prepared the plan and I took uh, one and a half hour to prepare the estimate and we processed the file and by the help of all the concerned staff, all the concerned officers, stakeholders. So same day we were able to uh, flop the NIT and uh, same day we uh, issued a work order to the contractor. Once the work order issued, so we FSS, we to complete the job in all respect and work was going on 24 by 7. So finally in that way we have completed the work. So it was a nice experience uh, for me as well as for this institute also. But for the first time uh, we got the opportunity to create such kind of facilities here. And special thanks to Mukesh Agarwal, my junior colleague, and two of my project assistants, Nyaksi and Jorna. They did a demand-runner's job. Without their help, it was quite uh, impossible to complete the job in all respect. Kind, cooperation, suggestion from all the stakeholders, uh, like from administration, finance, generalism. So without, this is totally a teamwork. So finally, we are able to create the facilities in time. We were assigned to do the supervising work during this construction. We have to plan all the things according to the availability of material at the site and have to visit different stores in the locality. Again, laborers were arranged in Chasse way that they could work for 24 hours and their lodging facility were provided in the guest house. Uh, we have gained a lot of experiences during this and I am fortunate enough to be a part of this noble project. I was interested to do the supervising work during the construction of COVID-19 testing facility at CSIR NIST. We have gained a lot of experience and practical knowledge in this regard. And I am so happy to take a part in such a great project and I am thankful to the director of CSIR NIST for the same. Karikori Bishwapogor Sesta Corona virus testing of Abe at a laboratory cooked at Kanibabe, one Amuliga. Are a homosua 
যেহেতু সময়ক দেখ লকডাউন আছিল সেয়ে আমি দরকারি প্রয়োজনীয় কেঁচা সামগ্রী বৈদ্যুতিক সার সঞ্জাম অন্যান্য বস্তু খাদ্য বহুত অসুবিধা পাবল হয়েছিল আটাইখিন অসুবিধা নেওসিও আমার কর্মচারী লিঙ্গ অতি ক্ষিপ্রতার অতি সালে একটা পূর্ণ পর্যায়ে করোনা টেস্টিং লেবরেটরি বনালে আসল এই কামটোর খাতির আমার খুব ক্ষিপ্রতার করবল হয়েছিল কারণ যে প্রাদুর্ভাবটি ইমানই বাড়ি গেছিল যে আমি অতি সালে এই টেস্টিং কাম আরম্ভ করা কথা ভাবিছিল আর ডাইরেক্টর সারের নির্দেশ মতে আমি খুব খুব কম সময় তিন দিনের ভিতরতে দিনে রাতে কাম করে আমি এই লেবরেটরিট কাম সম্পূর্ণ করছিল আর তার কারণে আমি যথেষ্ট কিন্তু কষ্ট পাব লাগছিল বিশেষক ইউ ভি সি লাইন যুক্ত কয় আলট্রা ভায়োলেট লাইন একচুয়ালি টু ফিফটি ফোর নাইনোমিটার যুক্ত বস্তু সাধারণ আমার মত এভেলেবল নাই আর সেয়ে আমি এই বাইরেরপা অনাবল আছি আর বাইর যেহেতু লকডাউন আছে সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমি যথেষ্ট কষ্ট পাইছি তথাপিও আমার সমূহ কোর্ডিনেশন আমি আমার কামখি সুকলমে সময়মতে শেষ করবেন এই ক্ষেত্রে মূল স্টাফর বাকি কেজন মেম্বারও মোক যথেষ্ট সহায় করেছিল সময় মোক রাতি দিন বলে কথা নাই সময় দিছিল গতি এই সেগতে মূল এই কথা শুভেচ্ছা কামট করে দেওয়ারও শুভেচ্ছা জানাইছিল কনসিডারিং দ্য পেন্ডেমিক সিটুয়েশন ওভার ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়াইড ডিউ টু দ্য আউটব্রেক অফ করোনা ভাইরাস দ্য ইনস্টিটিউট হ্যাজ এডপ্টেড দ্য বেসিক প্রিভেন্টিভ মেজার্স বাই প্রিপেয়ারিং ভেরিয়াস প্রোডাক্টস সাচ এস অ্যালকোহল বেসড হ্যান্ড সেনিটাইজার লিকুইড হ্যান্ড ওয়াশ লিকুইড ডিসইনফেক্টেন্ট সেনিটাইজড পেপার টাওয়েল অ্যান্ড অ্যান্টিসেপটিক সোপ and distributing them for public use and other government departments those who are engaged in essential duties csr nist initiated the covid 19 testing facility to join hand to address the pressing necessity of wider testing services capabilities across the northeast part of india which was inaugurated on 30th may 2020 the common facility thus created as covid 19 testing laboratory will serve as a center of excellence on virology or infectious diseases molecular and genomic laboratory in future once the requirement of testing is over initially few days we are collecting information about coronavirus and its behaviors and infection to the human beings we have started doing awareness among the people about the viruses and preventive measures to be taken by the general people also we have prepared making alcohol based sanitizer and cotton masks for distribution different public places like railway stations police stations and air force station etc a portal for the covid-19 was launched in the institute a lecture series by the virtual means was organized in the institute on daily basis the staff of by the staff of the institute i feel very lucky to be working in one of these teams and we are ready to face any challenge by testing and uh, it is really a dream come true that once floor plan on paper is a reality today we hope that we will continue to work with the new bigger with the support of the people with the support of the state and i am very very pleased and probably i should say that very proud about every single individual who is involved with the covid testing and we hope that the act that we have performed in the testing times will be remembered for a very very long time not only in the history of csr reached but also in the history of assam and the entire countries united against covid is not a choice it is the only chance we have stay safe stay healthy thank you very much